Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And video I did, I don't know, two videos ago, I talked about spreader bars for your snapper. I showed the one that I have on mine and because the ones they come with are pretty flimsy and they bend really easy and that throws off the fender alignment for your bearings or bushings. So it is important that you keep that bar straight. You can either take yours off or try to straighten it on the machine. <clears throat> it isn't something you necessarily have to replace if you can straighten the one you have. I have a viewer that made his own. He took the old one off he drilled the small holes in the two fenders. Uh, I believe he drilled them out to one half inch diameter. He went down and bought himself a length of half inch threaded rod. Bought four nuts and four washers. You thread the nut on first, then a washer on both sides, and reassemble your fenders. Then put a nut and a washer on the outside of both and I would I would tighten the outside nut up so it's flush with the end of the threaded rod if you cut it to right length. Then you can tighten the inside nut up till it locks against the fender. You do not have to buy these. If you want to, I do sell them. I make them out of half inch solid steel bar. I don't make them out of 5 eighths anymore. That was just way overkill. And it raised the cost of the bars. These I sell for $18. They are unpainted. And they come with two stainless steel bolts and washers to install them with. Now, if you put this style on, you do not have to take your machine apart to get it in. The original ones are 14 and a half inches long. Then they have the stud sticking out for the nut. There's no way to get it out of your machine unless you take a fender off and pull it out. If you're going to replace it with one of these, all you have to do is you take the two nuts off the original bar, you take a hacksaw and you cut the bar in half and you can pull it out from the inside on both sides. This bar is made to slide in and you put the nuts in from the out, or excuse me, you put the bolts in from the outside and you don't have to tear your machine apart but you don't necessarily have to buy one of these. Now, I've had a little confusion on, I've got a, some people that want to buy them, but I need you to email me to jimsfixitshop at gmail.com, your name, address, and zip code, so I can figure out shipping. I do not call, I'm in Michigan, so I don't call to California and get the shipping cost for what this weighs and charge everybody the same price. You send me your address. I weigh this up. I go to the post office. I have it packaged and they tell me what it's going to cost to mail it to you. Uh, that's just the way I do it. I don't want to overcharge anyone um, to get one of these. I, I sell them pretty much at cost. It does take a, a, a quite amount of time to machine these up to get them the right length and to drill and tap the ends. But I just wanted to clarify that. You can make your own. Now if you want to make one out of a piece of threaded rod, you can do it the same way. You will have to remove your tires. Cut your spreader bar that you have in there pull it out from the inside, drill the holes out. The threaded rod you can slide through from the, in, from the outside in and assemble your nuts. Um, 
what a piece of threaded rod will cost I don't really know I've never bought any lately I'm guessing probably somewhere in the neighborhood of ten dollars for a three foot piece of threaded rod I don't know if you can buy them any shorter than that that's just typically the size I buy at work but there you go in a nutshell whatever you want to do but if you do want to order one of these Remember, send me your name, address, and zip code. A lot of people forget that zip code, and they really need that for pricing. So that's it. Short and hopefully sweet. And until next time, work safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon. So long.